Captain's Log, Stardate 90210. We have expanded the base significantly by adding an upper level, which is dedicated to a bioreactor, farming, a water filtration machine, and, you know, a vending and coffee machine, just in case. Basically, this is the food level. I'm hoping by putting these two peepers in the aquarium, they will eventually, like, make new peepers for us. That would be helpful. In any case, down here, we've got Yoki Kazar and Reginald still. But everything else has been stripped out and moved up top. The neighbors still leave something to be desired. <laughs> Howdy, neighbor. And the base isn't fully complete yet. I would like an additional third source of power, as well as as well as another water filtration machine to feel fully comfortable with our farming. There's also an unfinished hatch here that might be turned into an eye corridor. House more of these things at some point. Would also like to put in more foundations. There's, there's a lot that needs to be done. Is basically the point. But luckily, we have such great neighbors! Next item on our agenda is actually... Exploring brave new worlds and whatnot. Any little peepers? No. Yes, one downside of living by the giant gun is that... The fish do not seem to like it. They stay far away from the giant gun. And, uh, thus... Remain difficult for us to catch. Luckily, we've got the farm. Next item on the agenda is a long journey across the whole map. Into the Grand Reef biome. We're looking for... Fragments of the Cyclops engine so we can finally build that and go deeper. As the Grand Reef is one of the few places we haven't explored all the wrecks. It's the most likely to contain something useful. That we know of, anyway. Captain's Log, Stardate 9011111111 we have now arrived at the original Aurora Rendezvous Point. And sensors indicate that there is, in fact, many wrecks in this area. Mm, this area seems rife with blue balls. Interesting. So far, no signs of any predatory life forms. Except whatever that thing is. Oh look, the neighbors followed us. Or possibly new neighbors are here. That's nice. Always nice to see them. Love that. Okay, these 
the things don't appear to be hostile. Although they make god awful noises. Detecting a titanium mass somewhere in this area. Unable to confirm whether it originated on the Aurora. Oh, that's comforting, computer. As always, you are the light of my life. I suppose, since this was a bust, we only have one choice now, and that is to head to the biome identified by the computer as the mushroom forest, and hope we find better luck there. The only issue is that it is on the other side of the crash zone. Which is a very big issue, admittedly. I'm hoping we can go through the grassy plateaus and around so we can avoid the crash zone. And electric eels, along with the armored sharks. Well, this will be fun, won't it? For given value of fun. But hopefully... A charge just volcanic activity and several unusual electromagnetic signatures in the region. Exercise caution when diving deeper. I no kidding. Exercise caution. Repulsion cannon. Acquired. Integrating new PDA data. And that is Time to leave. How do we leave? And since we've gotten a new radio message. Let's go find out what it was. Now, the CTO said that she'd sunk 500 meters. We can only go 300 in the sea moth. But I am fairly confident we can get the additional 200 on our own without running out of oxygen, hopefully. Warning, maximum depth reached, hull damage imminent.
What the heck are you, giant worm? Okay, out of here. Just ignore the giant worm thing. Okay, where's the hole in it? There's always a hole. Oh. And a data box. Cyclops depth module. Would be very useful if we have the Cyclops, I'm sure. And they all died. Integrating new PDA data. What a surprise. I see something over here we can scan, though. I think. Might just be a root. Do we even still have the scanner? Yeah, we have the scanner. Mm, well, I don't like you. Spidery things covering the ground. I lied. There's nothing here to scan. There is, however, a ton of quartz, which is nice. We are running a little bit low. And by a little bit low, I mean we were completely out. Now to make it to the sea moth without drawing that giant worm's attention. Welcome aboard, Captain. This place is kind of nice. Floor covered in spiders. Blobs of blood everywhere. Feels tell me. Oh, we got another message. Aren't we popular today? Ah, oh, the neighbors. What are you? I can see your brain. Well, it's definitely bigger than my brain, which makes me feel threatened. Okay, no little peepers. We're going to put this unidentified alien egg. Inside with Yoki Kazar. It won't let us. Fine. We'll save the unidentified alien egg for later.
I also really want one of those membrane trees. So let's see how we can get one of those going. Stop it, neighbor. Well, I need more titanium. Do I have more titanium? I do not think I do. Anyway, radio? Partially translated broadcast. Destroyed mode. Patrol. New targets unaccounted for. One. Hmm. The neighbors. They keep prank calling me. Two. They're just. They're awful neighbors, is what it is. In any case, uh, next time we will... We filled out more of the map, at least. And confirm the deaths of the CTO. And whoever was sunk to the bottom of the ocean bed a million years ago. We also created a very beautiful farm that the neighbors will never get to see because not only are they jerks, but they cannot live outside the water. So yeah, this is just for us. We should probably <laughs> Yeah, that. So still on the search for Cyclopsy parts. Hopefully the next radio message will help us towards that end. Maybe lead us to a data pad or a wreck. It's got all the Cyclops engines we could ever need. <laughs>